Hello. Hey everyone, welcome back to Unit. It's Sydney. Mido. Uh, and we're back this week to tell you some of our, uh, more of our favorite things in the store. Uh, so I'm going to start you off with some of my favorite sweaters and kits and yarns and stuff that we have. I'm going to start with what I'm wearing mm -hmm. because I'm obsessed with this sweater. Mm. Um, the people who work with me know I wear it very, very often. Yeah. It's really great. So this is our Lana sweater. Um, it's made out of the Isaacer spinny and mohair held together. Um, what's really great about it is got, so you see like the eyelets that I have? Yeah, on the top? beautiful. So you can do it without the eyelets. You can do the simple eyelets like I did, or there's also a version where you can make little flowers actually yeah. out of the eyelets. So it's gorgeous. So this is our our sample. Mm -hmm. And you made a different, uh, Yeah. You, you made it a little different from this one, right? Yeah, that's something I really like about this sweater. It's mm -hmm. quite easy to modify. So you can see, I really like a three quarter length sleeve because I'm always shoving my sleeves up. So I did a slightly shorter sleeve. And because I am only four foot 11, I make torso quite a lot shorter. Um, so I can have a little crop. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I love about this. It's so easy to modify mm -hmm. how you want it. Mm -hmm. You can see also the really cute scallop detail. And it's neckline. beautiful. It's so delicate. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it gives you a really nice on um, boat neckline. Yeah. That I think would look really good if you were to wear this on top of like a turtleneck. Mm -hmm. It would look really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one option. Great. Can, so, can we see the back? Yeah. Really yeah, nice. folds, right? Oops, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, hangs really nicely. Yeah, there. beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. And so, this is the yarn it's used with it's the spinny from Einziger. It's 100% yarn, it's a lace weight, mm -hmm. and it's held together with the uh, silk mohair, which mm -hmm. is an absolutely gorgeous mohair to work with. Mm -hmm. The color is beautiful. Yeah, so this is these are this is the color combo that this one was made out of. Mm -hmm. And then we also have kits in the gray. Mm -hmm. That would be gorgeous too. And then we also have kits in this really gorgeous blue. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you can see, once again with the color, I went a little bit rogue. Mm -hmm. So as long as you have the spinny and the mohair to hold together, mm -hmm. this is another com color combo. I think it it's would be really gonna, gorgeous. Yeah. So yeah. you can play with it as well. You don't have to just follow mm -hmm. the kits that we mm -hmm. have. And a little bit of the color difference gives like a more complexity, exactly, like a yeah. different texture, kind of, you know, great. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Yeah. A lovely sweater. So this is great for everyone who wants to knit for themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, anyone who might want to knit um, a little gift for someone, maybe mm -hmm. a newborn, maybe your own kid, uh, I think this Aww. is a great option. Look at these feet. Oh my I gosh. Know. So this is the little dream sweater. Mm -hmm. It's a great mix of uh, texture and color work. And mm -hmm. the color work, in my opinion, is quite simple. Mm -hmm. So it'd be great for beginners who are just trying out color work for the first mm -hmm. time. It looks pretty complicated to me, but it's simple, right? Yeah, it's not too involved, especially because it's just that little section. And then you're mostly doing texture work around mm -hmm. it to kind of fill out that pattern. Beautiful. So this gorgeous sweater is made in the Julie Ashland Journey. Mm -hmm. so that's the yarn. Mm -hmm. And it is a gorgeous spongy yarn. Yeah, spongy, um, yeah. It's made of two different uh, wools. I'm gonna not pronounce this right and I apologize. The Rambouillet and Targi. Um, so it makes it like super, super spongy. Mm -hmm. It has great st stitch definition as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is a great one. We have mm -hmm. it in a bunch of different colors, um, but if you were to do it, get the kit for the uh, little dream sweater, you'd get the latte, depending on the size, and then one of the chiffon. So like the kit comes only in this color. Yes. But you can also like uh, kind of choose your own color if you want. Yeah, exactly. Okay. If you want to do different colors, mm -hmm. just let us know and we can make it happen for you. Okay, okay. So yes, this is a gorgeous little option. It's beautiful. Quick off the needles too. Mm. Um, and then I'm going to talk about what you're wearing. Yes. So Mito is wearing our absolutely gorgeous um, bias shawl. So the little spin, you can see it's got those great diagonal lines. It's a mix, again, of different striping color work and then mm -hmm. some really nice um, stitch patterns mm -hmm. in here. So that's made out of our Shaboy, the pebble and the silk cloud. Which it's is so fun. light, but also warm. Yes. It's like perfect. I think it's perfect if you're like going to go walk by the water mm. on like a summer day because you never know when the breeze is gonna mm. hit. That and it too. actually like balls up quite quite small, so mm. you can take it with you quite easily as That's well. That's true. Like it, it 
it can be so compact, right? Yeah. So like a, I'm just wearing this way now, but uh, also you can wear it like. Yeah, you can wear a scarf. Scarf. Yeah, scarf like that. But you're right. It it just can be so compact. Yeah. Yeah. Even there, you can see how small it gets. Yeah. Yeah. So it's great. Mm -hmm. So that's done in the pebble and the silk cloud held together. Mm -hmm. Um. Now we do it. This is done in the uh, with the bone and the graphite. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want, you can do whatever color combo you like. I've got some options here. Just let us know when you're ordering it, and we can make the kit again in any color combo you want. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And like, feel how soft, like that. It's amazing. Just right? on its own, it's really I love soft. Shibui thing. Like, it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's got yeah. great bounce. I absolutely adore Shibui. Mm. So, that's three of our knit kits I'm going to yep. show you. Um, I guess I'll show you some of this fabric. Mm -hmm. I feel like you would like the fabric. So, these gorgeous colors here, this is our. Robert Kaufman Essex yarn dyed fabric. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So this is a linen cotton blend. It's 55% linen, 45% cotton. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, it, it looks like it would be kind of heavy, but when you open it up, it's actually really light. Yeah, I know. It looks heavy. Yeah. But uh, it's not, right? No, it's really not. It'd be great for like a summer skirt. Mm -hmm. I really love yeah, it. Yeah, the a summer blouse. skirt would be great. Yeah, the bl blouse too. I think it for a blouse, it has like just enough structure that it would sit really nicely. Also, like a, it's got some like a kind of like a, a little bit of white or like a different like a colors are here. Like it's not just a simple solid. Like, exactly. Yeah. So that's the dyeing process. You can mm, see that it's got like a very beautiful. In it. it almost looks marvelous. Look at that. Yeah. yeah Amazing. Gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. So that's a really great option when mm -hmm. you're starting your uh, summer sewing, which I'm assuming a lot of people are probably starting now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to be be here soon. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Um, and that yarn or that fabric that you have in your hand there, mm -hmm. this is from the Allison Glass Art Theory mm -hmm. collection. This is some of the really nice neutrals that she has in the collection. So what does, do people do with this one? This is like for the quilting? Yeah, so it's a regular quilting cotton, so it's perfect for quilting. Mm. I think it would be really great actually for masks, especially these darker mm. ones. You see this one has quite a lot of pattern. Mm. Um, I think it would be great on the inside of a mask mm. because it's, it gets dirty, so you don't like see it as much, and then you can clean it off. Mm -hmm. Or these like match together, you could do like a the front and the back, yeah. That. So I think those are really stunning. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they're just great neutrals. So what yeah. you need like some neutrals in the quilt to balance out all the color. So I think oh, that's a great oh, collection. Oh, that's okay. Hmm, makes sense. Yeah, and then I guess we'll move right forward here. These are our Satsuma Street um, ornament kits. So last week we talked about the uh, big cross stitch kits, the ones to mm -hmm. make like the uh, pillows and the tapestries, those ones. So these ones are itty bitty kits. They just make like a little, I think this one's like five inches, by six inches uh, ornaments. So it is maybe a little early for Christmas, but as we know, cross stitch does take a long time. Mm -hmm. So it might be great to get started now. Um, and these kits come, as you can see, with absolutely everything you need. It even comes with, if you can see here, it's got a little beading and mm -hmm. some, um... It's crow and skull, right? Yeah. So like a, you know, you can, you can use it for Halloween even. Yeah. And then it's got, I love this one. It's, it's got kitty. the sequins on it. Yeah. So it comes with the sequins and everything yeah. you need. Yeah. So these are great kits. I think these would be really great for uh, people who are just starting out with cross stitch oh, too. Okay. Because it has everything you need. You don't have to worry about not having anything. And mm -hmm. it's fairly small, so you don't get overwhelmed with a really big picture mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her color is always so unique, right? And the design is kind of modern. Yeah. You know? I was reading about her and how she actually got started. So they're by Jody Rice. She got started because she wasn't finding designs that she wanted to do. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were like, quote unquote, granny, like, old yeah, design. Sure. And she wanted something fun and colorful. So yeah. That's, that's what exactly is. Exactly like fun and colorful. Yeah. So those ones are great. I yeah, might I get one for that. myself, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to move along. So I'm going to bring this up here so I can show you. This is our Dream Tool tool Tote. So this is made from the Merchant and Mill dry oil skin. We have it in a bunch of different colors. Um, and so I was filling it up to prepare for this video, as you saw. And I could not even think of enough things to I fill know. this tote. You can fit so much in here, I'm amazed. Um, just starting on the outside, I have DPNs, I have cable needles, I have a set of 
crochet hooks. I have a stitch figure, fixer. I have more cable needles. I have a pen. And that doesn't even fill all the pockets on the outside. No. Then going to the inside, I've got enough room on this side that I can fit um, a ball of yarn and like a smaller, maybe a sock, um, a socked project if that's what you're working on. But you can fit a small something in this side. Mm -hmm. I've got this little bag. This isn't even filled with anything yet. Yeah. So you can also put this in there and fill that. I've got full heavy Merchant and Mill scissors that are absolutely gorgeous. And then so I have this little guy. So this is one of our little um, Kohana pouches that fits perfectly inside mm -hmm. and then you can take it out. What I like is I'll show you when I empty it all out. It's got buttons on the inside. So if you say this has like all of your like your pens and your stitch markers and you don't need it for this product, but you need it across the room with another project, you can just take this out, close it up, oh, take it with you. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is a great option to put inside. And this has a tape measure, another <laughs> tape measure, I've got wool soap, I've got stitch markers, I've got a cords for holding your stitches, I have a pin cushion, and I have a gauge marker. <laughs> and that's just in this tiny thing in here. Yeah. So as you can sure. see, you can fit so much into this little bag. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Really it's so amazing. light. And then because of the oil skin, it, it just, it doesn't stain. It's beautiful. And one thing I like about the oil skin is that it kind of weathers so the look kind of changes uh, the more you use it which i think is a great feature mm -hmm. to have like an mm -hmm. ever-changing design on your bag mm -hmm. so this is our maroon one we have the navy we've got the trench mustard so mm. we've got some great colors that's a tough choice yeah yeah i'm gonna get the maroon one first. okay okay and then speaking of actually some of the things that i had inside of here um we have some new poco knits. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a stitch fixer, which is great if you drop your stitch and you haven't noticed and it's traveled its way down whatever project you're working on. So you use this to like pick up the stitches. Mm -hmm. It makes it a lot easier. Um, and then tapestry needles. Mm -hmm. I like these ones because the tip is slightly bent, so it makes mm -hmm. the sign actually mm -hmm. make easier. Um, so great for weaving in ends, which I know everyone loves to do. And then if they've got a couple different kinds of cable needles. Mm -hmm. So these are their bamboo ones. Mm -hmm. And I think we showed you last week the Maker's Keep, you know, the metal bracelet. Mm -hmm. the bracelet. So this actually has a bit of oh my God. A metal in the middle. So, you know, when you're doing cables and you only need the cable needle for that one little section and then you put it down and you lose it. Inevitably, you lose it until you need it again for your next cable. So you can just pop it on your magnetic bracelet and then you don't have to worry about having to find it again the next time you need a cable. Wow. So those are great. Mm -hmm. And again, everything is metal. So mm -hmm. We'll stick to that. That's right. That's um, right. So yeah, showing you some more of the stuff that could go in this bag. It's some of our great new coconut things we got. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular line, right? It is. I really like them because they're really dedicated to being as environmentally friendly as possible. Yeah. For instance, these um, these cute little, they almost look like pebbles or mm -hmm. tape measures, but all of the plastic is actually made from like plant based recycled plastic. Wow. It actually says exactly what it is in here. So it's 100% fermented plant starch. Mm. Um, and if you go to their site, you can see all the different ways they're um, oh, conscious about being um, friendly to the environment. And it's and, beautiful too. Yeah. You know? And all their packaging is all cardboard. Mm -hmm. These are their uh, stitch stoppers, so if you're going to put down your work and you don't want to worry about it sliding off your needles, you can pop these on the end of your needles. They come in different sizes, mm -hmm. just to fit different, um, different needle sizes, so mm -hmm. that's great. This is one of their newest uh, toys. I absolutely love it. <laughs> what so, is that? I don't think you can guess. It's actually a gauge for your needles. So oh my gosh, that's needle. so clever! Exactly. So every person who knits or crochets knows that the little letters always rub off and you never know what size your needles are. So mm. this is super compact. You just pop out the one that you think it is and it's magnetic at the top so it doesn't like... Mm -hmm. it doesn't it, they always messy. stick together, yeah. So it's designed off of people who make jewelry. They have their little like magnifying glass thing that they use. So that was what was used in mind to make the design of this. Wow. Yeah, this is really great. That's a great toy. Yeah. Um, and then we have, they always have a great array of stitch markers. Mm -hmm. um, they've got your regular jumbo circle ones. We've got the small version mm -hmm. of them. 
Uh, you also have the little opening ones in case you need to clip it right onto the fabric rather than on your needles. Um, so a problem a lot of people have, I think, is deciding what is the right stitch marker for them. Um, what are they going to use the most to alleviate that problem? They have the flight of stitch markers. Mm. So this is, you have your little triangle ones, you have their itty bitty circle ones for like, I think it's up to four millimeters. These ones are your original ones, they are a little bit bigger. And then you have your jumbo ones at the end. And these ones I think are really cool, they're the split ring ones. So you can put it on right on your needle, or if you like kind of twirl it around, it sticks to the front of your fabric. So mm. that's really great for the indecisive person who doesn't know what they want. Okay. So yeah, that is my side of the table. Let's move on to yours. Okay, so I just wanted to introduce something completely new this time. Like a, you, some of you might know about the Japanese company called the Chicken Stripe. They are super popular fabric company in Japan. And uh, they now introduced this new Liberty blanket kit. Mm. They didn't call it baby blanket kit because it's pretty big. Oh, that's, that's huge. Isn't it big? Oh, that's so nice. I know. And then like a, this is like a blue. They have like a pink one too. But I chose the blue one, and then I'm telling you, I've never quilted before. This is my deep. Really? Yeah. This is my first quilting project ever. And then I did everything by hand because I don't like using the sewing machine wow. myself. And then the back is like a very soft double gars in the back. So I keep looking at it. It's so yeah, soft. and it's not so good. Like the backing is so beautiful too. And then. This kit doesn't have a batting, and I thought, that, well, why not? Like, maybe I should put the batting in. But the thing is, I think for this one, I think without the batting is better way to go, I think. Like, you can really feel the softness, not softness yeah. of the, this fabric, and it's light. So, like, you can use it in many different ways, and it doesn't only have to be for the winter. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, this would make a great, if you put uh, half your fabric on the back, it would make a great picnic. Mm hmm that's right that's right so you know i was just impressed how it turned out for the first timer like me yeah it does not look like a first timer at all <laughs> really no thank I, you I, it's it's just i love the the combination of it yeah. and then just like you said that sort of like a even though it's all liberty there is some like a kind of standard like a kind of um basic color one to kind of weigh down the the pattern so uh it has like a both the lightness but also it's not just light it has like a some you know and so did you choose they gave you the fabric and you choose the placement of all of them yeah like oh. you can do the placement whatever they want and then also like instruction come in english this one so that okay. it's easier to figure out that's a big point and it's it's gonna come like i think it's gonna take about three weeks to get here but uh I think you will enjoy the, you know, the whole process. I loved it. So, that's that. Hold that back up. Thank you. And also, today, I want to do a few demo uh, because uh, I know that the, some of you uh, asked the technical question to the store about the Japanese kits, and it's very hard to explain it by email. So I decided to show you the cooking stitched pouch from Peace this time. And then like Sydney, you asked me about what's the difference between sashiko and a kogin before. And then like I said, the kogin is more closer to uh, cross stitch. So you count the weave. Okay. Do you say weave or? Yeah, so it's got like squares on the fabric. Yeah, squares on the fabric. So you count that and then so like a, there is no like a grid here. You just count, just like a you know, a cross stitch. Right. And then also like a, you can use a cross stitch thread for this, but you don't have to. I mean, cross stitch uh, the needle. Sorry, needle. Uh, it's not pointy, so that you don't split the the you know fabric, right? But I'm just I, I don't have the cross stitch uh, needle myself, so like I just use a regular. Uh, needle. Right. So the kit, this kit has like the the two front fabric, the the lining fabric, cogin thread, and then also the 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 string to for the pouch. 
So what you do, like I finished the one part, like one side, but uh, what you do is basically like a eight centimeter from the, the bottom and then 2.5 centimeter from the side and then you mark it. So this is your starting point. Eight centimeter and then eight centimeter from the bottom and the 2.5 centimeter from the, the side, okay? And that's that. And then what you do is you start from the back like that. And then you don't make a knot. So many uh, sashiko and then kogin, you don't really need to make a knot. You just leave it like about 10, 10 centimeter tail like this. And then you weave them in, you weave it in at the end. So you just leave the, the little tail like that. And then what you do is you just count one, two, three. And the third hole, you go in and then you pull it down. Oops. Whoop. And then you count nine holes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and so this is the ninth hole so like i'm just going like this and make like the hole a little bigger and then like i come out from the bottom to the top so like like that and then you count three holes one two three and then go down so i repeat this and then keep going like this and then so this is this is the what I'm doing here is the top row here. Here, 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 here. here. So like a cooking is like a, a, once you do like a first two or three rows, it gets so much easier because you don't really need to count anymore. It's, it's gonna become automatic. So let me try again. Okay, so from here, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then go like this. So all this like, kind of annoying counting only happens in just a few first few rows. I'm pr I promise you, it gets way easier after that. So it's like that. It's just like a you know, so like a three holes for the for the little line here, and then you jump. I made, I see like, a, and then you can see the mistake that I, I made because, you know, so like a, when you make a mistake like I did, you just do it again. Take it off and then count again. So that's, that's how you do it. And then after you're done with the pattern, I myself made a little, um, pattern. So, um, the instruction says here, I know that it's all in Japanese, that's the problem, right? Sorry about that. So the front fabric, the, um, the vertical length uh, is 17 centimeter, and then uh, horizontal like length is 15 centimeter. So I first make the square front pattern, and then this is the where the, the corner, this is the pattern for the corner. So that I just use this going like that. And then like uh, I draw, I use the uh, fabric uh, copy paper down here and then going like this and then mark it and then cut it. So that's how I made the uh, pattern. And then, uh, so I made the, the, the two patterns for the front and the lining. And then after you're done, you go like this, like that. And then also like you need to leave like a little bit of the seam uh, allowance too. So, so give the seam allowance and cut it and then cut it and then make the lining and this and then put it together. So that's how you do it. 
So that uh, I hope that this instruction is enough to make this kit because it's a beautiful pouch that I, I just love. And then the unit has like a black and a mustard color. Okay, so that's so that's that. I'm gonna do a little demo for the felting. So, like I said in the previous video, that uh, not too many felting kits from Hamanaka comes in English, but this Puro guy comes in English. And I always recommend to start with the one with the English instruction so that you can follow the Japanese one sort of like much easier to guess later on. You already kind of have an idea of how Yeah, to because like they're basically it's the same thing. Like, so for example, when you open it up. I'm so curious, I've never done felting before. Oh yeah, okay, so. So like a, this one, this kit has like all the finished picture from the every angle. So you can kind of check if your shape is okay. So that the, there is like a visual help too. But the kit has this uh, yarn that you cover the body. So this one, and then also like the, the felting yarn. Uh, and then this is for the, the nose and the mouth, the black one, and then the plastic eyes. And then, like I said, the, the, the kids comes with the English instruction for this one. And then the, the, the consistent thing about the Hamanaka felting kit instruction is that it always come with this measurement at the bottom. Okay. So that, uh, for example, for this one, it says that for the head, you need nine centimeter here. So you just place your wool and then measure it and then you cut. Yeah, yeah, can I? And it doesn't have to be too exact. I mean, it can be just about is fine. Thank you. And now it's just cut like this. And then also, the, one of the, the trick about making the uh, successful felting is like when you, you need to roll the, the felting wool, but uh, it's so spongy and bouncy that it's not easy to roll them. So I would recommend to basically kind of loosen them up and even separate them a little so that you, you don't need to tackle the whole thing first. And then also, you need to roll it tight. If it's too fluffy, as you poke, every time you poke, it changes the, the shape. And it's really difficult to have the final shape that way. So you need to kind of try to roll tight using the traction of the mat. By the way, this is the felting needle, the felting mat and felting needle. That's what you need. And then you kind of roll from the side too. And then rolling down, side, roll down. And then you kind of use a traction of the mat to even make it tighter. And then you just poke, 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 poke with the felting needle. You can use the embroidery needle, by the way, because this is a special needle. So what makes that a special? Okay, so the, the sheep's wool is just like a human hair. That it has like a, each strand has like a broken cuticle going like this. So it has like a scale to it, each, each hair. And the felting needle also has a scales to it so that the, the, this like a scaled needle catches all the broken cuticle. And as you poke, all the broken cuticle entangle together and then it sticks mm -hmm. so that you don't need the glue. You just poke and that's all you need. And then also there is this uh, misconception about the felting that you poke so hard. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is more like a shallower small light poking is good so like you just keep poking like this you don't need then you need to be careful with not poking yourself but uh, you don't need to poke hard and then you sort of like you know it's it sticks and then it's sort of like round and then you add more wool at this point it's easier right to add more do you want to see you want to try and see sure. so you can so like, and then also, like in, aside from the measurement, Hamanaka kid always have this visual guidelines of the finished product. So like, 
This is the head. So like a, this is the shape that you are looking for. Okay. This is the actual size drawing. So that I just did half of it. So you do the final cover. So I just take this and yeah. wrap it around. Exa exactly. That that's it. Yeah. And then poke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all you need to do. And once the end is attached, then you can study to form a round shape, right? This is really satisfying. I know. It's so simple. It's crazy how it, like, <laughs> you can see the dimple when you put it down. It yeah. like, really does a lot. And I'm not putting any pressure behind no. it. You can go so light. And the important thing is that you're, you're holding that the piece with your left hand, right? Right now, yeah. you need to hold it so light. Some, sometimes when we poke, we, we just don't realize how much pressure we have on our la left hand. And then yeah. when you put the pressure, you disfigure your piece. So your left hand is just kind of holding lightly. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not like. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then as you go along, as I said, can I just? Yeah, you just go like this, and then put it over the the visual guideline, and then you just going like this, going like that, and then see, and then you just keep going. That's right. what you do. And basically, that's it. So like, this is the all the pieces, like the head, body. Oh ears, leg, tail. This is the back, this is the front leg and the back leg. And then once you are done making the, all the pieces, you just <laughs> go like that. And then you poke this in and then they'll, they'll stick. So you're going through both. Oh, wow. It's like magic. <laughs> <laughs> like that. And then it, when everything is attached, it's like this. And then I started to use the, this yarn to poke it in. And then this one looks scary with the sewing pin like this, but I, I like to use this pin to kind of guess where the eye, sh eye should go. I don't want to just risk without testing it. Yeah. And the sewing pin is always good to see where the eyes you know, should go and it looks cute. So I'll use that. And then once you decide where the eye should go, I myself use the thing called the owl. But uh, you don't, if you don't have this, you can just use a toothpick, okay? okay? And then you take out the pins, but don't take out all the way because you lose the, the, the position. And then you just go like this. I know it looks very, it's terrible. <laughs> And then you make a hole and then you put the plastic uh, eyes in with the, with the glue. Right. And then there you go. It's so cute. That's the process. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Here this comes is the big reveal. This is super exciting. So we just got a package of our latest Kohana. I'm so happy you're here because these are so exciting to open because it's absolutely beautiful uh, product. So we thought it'd be fun to take you along with us while we open everything and see it for the first time. I see the Japanese up top. So it came from Japan, right? Yeah, it came all the way from Japan. Let's see what we got. Oh, -ho! oh I love their packaging. Ho oh ho! So these are, I think, are the sewing needles. So mm. in the little, like, in that little capsule, the sewing needles which is a great way to keep them because I'm always losing my needles mm -hmm. everywhere. And it has a tassel? Yeah. Gosh. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, these are, so you get these four needles inside. Mm -hmm. you see, mm -hmm. different lengths. That's so cute. It's beautiful. I love the tassel. And a bunch of those. Oh my gosh, those little teeny the tiny, tiny scissors. Tiny, tiny scissors. That's, that's so cute. They're so cute. They're actually like really great. Like It's a good scissors, right? Surprisingly sharp. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open one up. Ta -da! So Beautiful. Cute. Again, the tassel. Oh my god. And it's got like the little here. 
Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I'm gonna take it out of its Yeah, little... sure. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, nah. They're so cute. <laughs> It cuts so well too, and then yeah. it, it, you can take it anywhere for sure. Yeah. You just don't lose it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what that one is. Let's open it up. It I says, think it's a sewing set. Yeah, it says sewing set. Should I open it? Yeah. But uh, you have to open the whole bag though. It's a sewing kit, right? Yeah. So it'll have like I think the needles, and you have some scissors in. Mm -hmm. Every, all the details of that one are on our site. Okay. Don't okay. want to break the seal. Yeah. No. No way. And then one more here is the, okay, so this is a tool bag too. Oh, those are cute. Mm -hmm. And the tassel comes in different colors, right? Yeah. So the blue, the pink, oh, and the navy one too. Yeah. Beautiful. Like color tassels. The yellow. So you yeah. can match all your tassels together. For what is this? Ooh. Oh, is this, it says, it's like a the tool uh, tool bag, so basically, um, when you open this up, you can put the needles in, and you can just just a folded like a toolkit. Should we open it up? Yeah. So it's this is the it says the toolkit, tool bag. And then open it up like this. Oh. So, I think this is great for the knitters, right? Right. Oh, this is for the knitting. That'd be great. To and like it has like a pocket, zipper pocket. It'd be great for your interchangeable set. Yeah. Or like you have crochet hooks. And then you can put the markers in here. Yeah. And then you can nicely fold it like that. And then, That's like gorgeous. That. It's beautiful. Everything they make is so well crafted. I know. I know. Look at how gorgeous it is. Okay. I love it. So like that one. Oh, that look, the different color again. You match everything. Yeah. So that. And more. Oh, this is the gorgeous scissors of theirs. I know, but I'm don't so get distracted. distracted. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. Everything is just so nice. I don't want to wreck this box. This is this box. Oh my is gosh, gorgeous. it's Cypress box, right? Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cloth, too. I know, I know, I know. It's not a paper. Phew. Oh, those are gorgeous. Yeah. With the gold lacquer, too. Mm-hmm. So. Look at that. Oh, those are stunning. It's going to last a li lifetime. Oh, my gosh. The sound of that it. It sounds so nice. I know. It's going to cut so well. Oops. Yeah. And then it comes with the, the leather sturdy leather oh clever yeah with the tassels too gold tassel that I love is that you can match everything with the tassels i know amazing amazing stuff i think i can yeah, go I'm from the side either. right yeah okay so that's that Good. okay i want to see what these little nests are because i'm dying right now they're so cute so it's got the little scissors and then the tiny little um oh don't get my nails in the tiny little pin cushion and that's again cypress wood that's so cute and it comes in a little basket what else have we got in here these pins Midori you have to see these pins oh beautiful it's a glass yeah yeah take them out of the bag and get a better look Like little candies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I open this? If 
different colors of all of them? You can just have like a this as, yeah. So like it's like a, you can just carry a few of this or like a, it's great for the gift too, right? Yeah. Man, it's beautiful. Wow. It's the great thing about buying from factors is we always like pretty things. Uh, Even if we have a million, we love pretty things. Oh gosh. Can be a problem. Kohana is great for pretty things. What is that? It's a little box. It seems it's like a pencil a, sharpener. Yeah, yeah, pencil sharpener. So like a, this is for like I would say like a, you can just use it for the pencil sharpener, but this is for that like a fabric pen sharpener. Okay. Right. Or like the pen you were using. Yeah, yeah. To mark the fabric, you can use this uh, sharpener to sharpen the pencil. Oh my oh, god! Wow. Oh. So this is like a, when you want to uh, empty it, you open it. But when you use it, basically, this is where the the, the fabric pen goes, right? That, uh, and then like a fabric pencil goes, and you just sharpen it, and then you empty it. That's gorgeous. How cute is that? Beautiful. These are small scissors. Every time I'm surprised, it's just oh pretty. Oh, I have a little Kohana. Mm -hmm. Get it upside down. Isn't that a beautiful? That's a silk roll. So soft. Oh, I love oh, that. Wow. Beautiful. Again, it comes with the little. Mm -hmm, the leather. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so pointy, so small. Beautiful and practical, love right? It. And then again, the tassel. Beautiful. Gosh. <gasps> So this is the small sewing. And again, it comes in different colors. There's the blue one, like another tealy one. So everything inside will match the color. There's the gray. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so glad you guys got to open the box with us and see how excited we get whenever we open new things. Yes, definitely. Because none of this was for show. This is all just excitement. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Attention to details. Yeah, yeah Kohana, is, everything in Kohana is amazing. You can find more information about all of it on our website too. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Bye. Bye. See you